perfect engineering is going, pardon the pun, is going through a ground-shaking change right now. And a lot of, there are a lot of reasons for that. You know, for those of us that design structures and that use the current code, know that the current code basically focuses on life safety. All right? And on that note, I'm going to move it in the center here. Um, can you hear me now? Yes. All right. Um, I, I don't want to hide behind that for you know, like, you know, walk around and talk to everyone. So the earthquake engineering profession is going through a, a big change right now because for those of us that use uh, uh, design codes, know that the design codes are, of course, based on linear analysis, right? Damage never happens in linear behavior. Nothing has ever failed in linear range. And there's a reason why we do linear analysis, and we talk a little bit about that. But the other thing is that the codes currently focus only on life safety. What that means is that the code essentially says that we just make sure that nobody dies in the other way. That the structure doesn't fall on anybody and kill us. They don't care about whether the structure is going to be any good after the other way. There's no, there's no talk about it. And that would be a problem. I mean, when you talk about special structures like hospitals and schools, they've done something special about that. But there's no talk about that in terms of transportation, like bridges. You know, uh, if a bridge you know, it doesn't kill anybody, but you can't drive your car across it, your emergency vehicles won't be able to get to places where they need to be. And your whole economy will come to a standstill. So, so, so the, just the fact that nobody got killed doesn't mean that there isn't trouble. If they didn't get killed, they would die of starvation because the food wouldn't get them. You know, so, so right now, the, the, the need, and it's becoming more and more clear because the design codes are addressing that, that we just don't care about life safety. What we want is post-earthquake operation as well. So that even after the earthquake comes, of course we don't want anybody to die, but at the same time we want all of our processes and all of our infrastructure to still be operational. And that's where this whole concept of performance-based design comes in. And we talk a lot about that. 